So we just scouted out a little camping spot here. We're gonna set the old Kodiak canvas right here. Get our table set up, get our packs unloaded, get the uh, food in the cooler and um, get going for some bears tonight. Once the snow starts melting off open faces and the green grass starts pushing through, it means it's time to hunt spring black bear. One of my favorite parts of black bear hunting is just being able to get outside and do a good old fashioned DIY public land hunt. This hunt was planned out last second with my buddy Wyatt. He has been seeing a lot of bears out, keeps telling me he wants me to come up, and I wanted to explore some new country and give this area a try. Awesome. So we got a double decker here and Peyton and I are trying to sort out who's going to go on bottom. I'm going to move around a lot, dude, because I got elbows and ankles that are going to hurt, so I got to move. No, we'll probably, well, I'll, you'll probably feel me less on the bottom. Famous last words, he just said that's fine. You're sure that's fine? Because I don't... I don't want you pouting later. I, I think I'll, I think it'll be fine. Okay. All right, let's move that bad boy in. So we're gonna park here, and we're gonna walk out of Old Close Road and uh, see if we can't spot any bears tonight, see if we can't see any bears on their feet. Maybe we'll see a bear, maybe we won't. We might have a good chance at some bears though, just because uh, it's just been raining the last couple days and um, animals should be on their feet and moving, so. Basically, tell you a little bit about what we're doing. I more or less said, hey, why I'm coming up here in a couple weeks. I always try to hunt north, up north. He's like, well, I'll be off work. Tell me when you're off work and we'll go hunting. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. So you killed a couple, you killed one Slimer this year. Mm -hmm. You killed a big one last year too. I did, yep. So we're going to try to find something big and mature and just go have fun and learn some new country. And right. Explore some new stuff. <laughs> look for a big old pumpkin head. Look for a big old pumpkin head. All right, man. Let's go get him. Let's do it. So many bear here, we're gonna, it's a good area where the elk population's hurting and try to knock some big mature bears down because they just wreak havoc on the fawns. That's not why we're here, I mean, we eat bear meat and we like to get out in the outdoors, so that's, this is not a save the fawn mission, but it is kind of a save the fawn mission. It's like a full circle. Yep. If you're an elk hunter, you should be a bear hunter. Yeah, if you're an elk hunter, you should be a bear hunter. If you're a deer hunter, you should be a bear hunter. And, and God said this, he said, I give you dominion over the land. So we're the top of the food chain. Sometimes we get knocked down, but for the most part, we're the top of the food chain.
yellow flowers. I don't know what they're called. There you go. What do you think of that? That's a good one. Fuck oh. size. It's a big one. Probably a grizzly bear. <laughs> grizzly bear. That's a fatty. It's about what it looks like when you throw it down, Pate. <laughs> what do you think? That's a, that's a big black bear. That's what we want. If we get close to him, I'm gonna PDP him. We know what? I'm gonna PDP him. Do it. Do it to him. We're waiting for some bears to come out, but uh no bears yet, they're probably back in their dens after this cold spill that just hit. <gasps> well, no bears tonight. No, just frostbite. Just, yeah, just frost, <laughs> just frostbite extremities. The first night was cold and slow, so we headed back to camp and warmed up with some delicious mule deer brats. Take six ass. Yeah, it's just gonna bring really good luck. It's gonna be hotter than heck, I think. No. some bears so might have to bushwhack a little bit up here. A little bit of bushwhacking. A little bit of trail walking. So we got another giant track. Uh, yeah it's a pretty big wolf track but they run this trail quite a bit. They kill a lot of moose on it but they get I don't know they're really excited like I'm archery hunting and just bugle and like they'll just start yipping and they'll come right in. So it's like dogs when they're excited. Yeah they get they all excited. Start yipping so. and wagging their tail. Yeah. Wolves are the same way. Really? Mm -hmm. Dude, that, that paw print is huge. Yeah, look at the huge. look at the toes. The toes is like the indicator. We got one fresh pile, it's not even a day old. He's living right here. There's a, literally a bear living where we're standing. You can see him right here. Giant piles, there's a bear bed he dug out right there. All right, so we finally made it to a place to glass and this basin's just heavenly. It's like, like looks like prime mule deer country, looks like prime bear country, prime elk habitat. Like, it's just gorgeous. And everywhere we were at, we were bumping into bear's cat, so. I think it's only a matter of time until a bear pops out from here. Right, tell me what you got going on there, Pete. I got me some ready wise dried bananas and a spray. There's a long hike and to celebrate. I already hammered my PB and J and that was money. <laughs> that tasted good. So it's Peyton set up here. I'm, I'm ready to dig in. What do you got here, Pete? Oh, this is a sec. This is Aaron's new toy that I stole. I told him I can't wait to steal it from him. <laughs> this lens is money. It's, you can see forever with it, so. It's like a spotter, but it'll get the good animal footage. Good upgrade. Wide herbs there, trying to glass up a bear. There's a mountain goat up there. Is there? Mm-hmm. Not a big old pumpkin head, but. <laughs> it'll start. No, that's a start. Yeah, this is 
Even with our hot start of seeing the mountain goat and all the bear scat in the timber, the bears weren't coming out into the open faces. And that's the problem with hunting in such a thick landscape. We knew bears were in the area, but once green grass starts growing in the timber, they have no reason to come out into the openings where we can see them. So bear heaven wasn't so heavenly that night. We started the next day off right by grilling some spam on the camp chef and making a plan to hike in deeper to another area that we had seen some bears in before. Rookie here is gonna he's gonna cook up some spam before we head out. Oh, oh yeah, I get that. <laughs> All right, how are you gonna prepare your spam? All right, so I'm gonna prepare my spam by. Well, Wyatt here says I need to try some mustard, so I'll do one with mustard. Oh, yeah. We'll try that. Ah! One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Four, one to ten. Seven. Seven? Mm-hmm. Woo! With the mustard? Seven out of ten, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We are gonna check out a different spot. See if we can't have some better luck. I think there's a little bit better weather now. We got a three and a half mile journey in. Probably takes a couple hours to get there. With some fairly heavy packs and hopefully we come out heavier. So. It's always fun exploring uncharted territory. You never know what you're gonna see or what you're gonna get. The beautiful scenery and the burning in the lungs did not disappoint. The farther we went, the better looking the country got until we eventually reached a clearing through the timber that had to have bears in it. We just got to the top of this basin, finally cleared open. We can glass and this is some of the most beautiful bear country I've ever seen. It's amazing. Gorgeous high country base and a lot of brush and feed for them. So we're just gonna hunker down and try to see if we can get one moving now. This clearing was beautiful, but it's limited to only being able to glass one area. I'm sure there are bears around, but getting them to step out and what we could see is all luck. Wyatt decided to pull out the wounded rabbit call to see if maybe that would bring a bear out of hiding. some sort of wound because it's limping. I don't know. All right. Kind of halfway hoping that another bear followed it out. If it was a sow that it was in heat, but no other bears yet. We're just gonna keep waiting and see if something else comes out. It's obviously bear 30, which means they should be moving around. As much as I'd like to sit here until dark, which is, it's 8.56, gets dark, what, 10.08-ish? Mm -hmm. We got four miles out of here, so a couple more spots to look at on the way down, so. Go down. We'll pack up and head down. At least we saw one bear. I think that made everyone just a little bit more excited. Yes, helped a lot. So, saddle up and head out.
All right, so the Dalibor 3 has pit zips. These are clutch. Like, it's pretty hot coming out, but I know it's gonna get cold walking next to the river. So just open these up and dump a bunch of heat. Man, that's nice. Well, we've gone just over eight miles now and we gotta cross the dreaded slippery bridge. So, Peyton's all blistered up. We're all tired. Now we got the last leg, the sketchiest part. Here we go. How was today, playoff P? Oh, it was good that we saw a bear finally. That was the best part of the day. What do you think, bro? I was happy we finally found a bear. Yeah, me too. But we need to find a bigger bear, though. Yeah, we need a bigger bear. That's right, we saw one, though. That's right. Step, Step it again tomorrow. Step in the right direction, right? That's right. Good time. Playoff P, he's making you guys the best film we've ever produced. So I oh. hope, you, hope you appreciate this guy. I'm trying to maximize all the opportunities we have here on this trip. And uh, one of those is hunting in the morning. You know, in my experience, bears have been, are active from 9.30 to 11.30 in the mornings. Typically the evening's better, but we're just trying to do different things and um, switch it up, try different spots, glass. This is a little bit big, bigger country that we can see. So I, I know there's bears here, but that brush is starting to go in pretty thick. So it comes down to the right place at the right time. And a lot of hunting is the right place at the right time. So bear heaven and it's just like before heavenly so we think the bears kind of bed up in here and that they'll feed out into this open green grassy hillside so we're just gonna keep an eye out on this transition area and see if we can't pick some bears coming across I mean it's gorgeous this is so neat ourselves until 9.30. I'm gonna do 9.33 <laughs> just for fun. Let's see if that changes our luck. Anyway, no bears. Not a single animal on that side hill that stepped out tonight. We know they're here, they just, I don't know, just haven't seen any. Eat some hot dogs, some mashed potatoes tonight. Go to bed. Go to bed. Wake up, do it again. Try to fall asleep before. He smashes my face with his ass. <laughs> and the double bunks. Jeez. Oh, well, we got a thunderstorm rolling in. We're trying to get out of here before we absolutely get dumped on. Pollen's just rolling off these trees because the wind's from the storm. Check it out, I'll show you with the view across the canyon. That's pretty badass, dude. That's awesome. What do you think of this microburst? I think it's pretty crazy. Trees are ripping, wind's howling, pollen going everywhere. I just hope there's not a bunch of trees down across the road. Yeah, let's, let's hope. Made it to the bottom. Got a quarter of a mile to go to get safety back to the truck. There's a chance we have trees all down on the road. And if that's the case, we don't have a chainsaw, we just have a handsaw. And White said one time he got caught in a storm like this and he had to bring a crew of 10 people in to chainsaw him out. So crazy. You realize how insignificant and small you are and powerless when a storm like this comes in on you. Well, we made it back to the truck safe and sound. How was it, boys? It was exciting. It was exciting. Got the adrenaline pumping a little bit. Oh, yeah. It was definitely exciting. 
With the excitement of the microburst, we were happy to make it out and safe to the truck, hoping trees weren't down the road. Everything was looking good until we rounded a corner and saw a giant cottonwood and a truck trying to pull it to the side. My worst nightmare come true. I'm trying to get out of here and there's a tree in the middle of the road. So as long as we get the weakest part of the tree. We're gonna hook up the bubble rope and see if this Duramax yeah, can pull it out. So. so here we go. Let's see what this we'll see what this sucker's made of. Give us your last best word, ready? Let's see how well this goes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Alright. Hey, that was teamwork. I got the rope, you got the truck. Right? Dang old dirty match, you did it quite well. The dirty pulled through clutch. Six feet Allison. Six feet Allison, huh? Six feet Allison, four by four. It's got 600 foot pounds of torque behind the wheels without the turbo. Without the turbo, huh? Turbo probably tops it out, probably like extra 150 horse. Really? I'm betting, but. Yeah, not bad for belt ball tires. Heck yeah. Definitely like to support the channel and whatnot. I never expected to be on it, but. Hey, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Name's Eli G. Eli G? Alrighty. Eric. Nice to meet you. I'm Tristan. Tristan, okay. I'm the one that has the truck. Oh. He just drives Miss Daisy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been better. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. God bless. Yeah, we might. Yeah, we got the road. How's it going, guys? You might want to follow us in case there's another one. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the tree. We made it. There's the other side of it. Good. Thank goodness for Miss Daisy and Elijah G. Well, a little update here. We got a couple more trees down. So we got to do that again a couple times. Here we go. All right, what do you got to say for this one? Well, we have the best of luck for this one. There's two right there. There's a third one up ahead. I don't know how many more after that, but give her a go. Let's cause... give the dirty, let's put the dirty to work. Miss Daisy's ready to go to work, right? You can do the front or the rear because it's got two Miss Daisy might want to pull one. Long story short, there were a lot of trees down and we spent the next hours pulling trees from the road to get through all the debris. This is something I've never experienced in all my years hunting, but it was definitely one of the more interesting nights I've ever had. So to wrap everything up, we'll let Miss Daisy give the final words before we get back to bear hunting. How are you feeling? Interview time. Oh? Well, I feel like I don't have to prove myself anymore. <laughs> And girls can drive big trucks too. Absolutely. The trees started moving once you got behind the wheel. He wants to baby the truck. He doesn't understand that I, I put this through hell and back and I know the truck better than he does. It's my daily driver. Absolutely. I'm a diesel girl all the way. It started with a 98 Cummins and now I have a 2006 Duramax. So. Girls rock. Yeah. All right. Hi, dude. Good luck. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. We'll hit it hard tonight. Maybe we'll get lucky. You got to get back to work tomorrow. Get back to work. Get one day, and then I got to fly down to Arizona for two weeks. Fight some fire. Nice. It's 90 now, so I don't know. I don't know. It went from 30 degrees to 90. Yeah, we're late. There's a lot of bloom. It's a pretty tough time to hunt bears, I think. I don't know. We just got the short end of the stick. Yeah, that's but. all right. We'll, we'll work hard tonight and see if we can't turn something up. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a bear. Hope so. Checking a bear tomorrow morning. Be sick. We'll see. Grayson looked at me, I opened it. We didn't bump him. He's making sure he's not 
chasing me. Here's the expired 300 PRC brass, 212 grains at 30 yards that put him down. He was just getting ready to turn and I put it right in him. Peyton's grateful I'm shooting a suppressor this year so his, his ears didn't get blown out. But That's such a pretty bear. I've been wanting a black bear with that black snout. He's probably going to be delicious. He's been eating on this green grass. Oh yeah, I told Peyton if I kill a bear, you want the bear meat? I mean, we couldn't find any better bear meat than what we're about to get, so fingers crossed, speedy recovery. Oh, he's right here. He went not even 10 yards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Look at the front end on that sucker, dude. dude. Give it to me, bro. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my god. I'm so pumped. Yeah. I'm so happy. It's a, it's a stud bear. Yeah, it is. Last night, stud bear. Oh my god, dude. dude. Talk about working for it. Oh yeah. Five day grind. Oh man. Last night. That's... Can you believe that, dude? Bear wars, That's baby. That's sick, dude. Freaking stud, dude. Oh, yeah. God, dude. The camera. We got prototype bags we're testing out. Ha! <laughs> 